My name is Billy, and when I was a kid, I watched a lot of Doogie Howser, Dear Journal. But it never wanted to make me be a doctor. As a matter of fact, I wanted to drive the trash truck for a living. I mean, what little boy does not want to drive a real-life transformer? Come on, you're with me here. The path of my life didn't lead me to the sanitation department, though. It led me to go to work for a local city fire department, and similar to the sanitation department, but much different at the same time. My journey also brought me to, be, to, lead, to become a pastor at a church in downtown Phoenix. And so for my life, I'm meeting these people that are coming across my radar, coming across the screen, who are doing amazing things with their life. They're working to eradicate child prostitution. They're working to find new forms of communication. And the question that comes up inside me is, why would you do that? Why do we give our lives to the things that we're passionate about? I think many of us are familiar with some stories from our own community about people who have engaged. People who have asked that question. Many of us are familiar with the story of Pat Tillman who led what we would succeed as a successful life. But because of moral convictions, because of some things inside him, he chose to do something else and ultimately paid a physical price with his life. In 2004, a guy named Scott Harrison was a prominent New York nightclub promoter. He was so changed by what he saw that he started an organization called Charity Water that literally saves hundreds of lives every day by providing clean drinking water. In 2003, a bunch of amateur kids with cameras went to Africa, and what they found and filmed was children who were being forced, tortured to be child soldiers, and they made a documentary called Invisible Children to bring light to the subject. These people live for a better story. The people that I run across my screen are working for a better story. They're engaging in their life because they feel what they see around them they can contribute to. For most of us, this is what the world looks like. It's giant and it's big and we don't know how it really works and what's in it. And we feel small over here and can we really make a difference? Can we really impact the world that we live in? But to those who choose to engage, the world looks like a giant opportunity. A giant opportunity to see things differently. People who engage see things that come across their radar, opportunities to speak, opportunities to give, opportunities to volunteer, and they take them by the horns and they don't let go. And it's not just about volunteering. People who choose to engage choose to take their talents and put them into vocation. They choose to talk about good beer. They choose to open local coffee shops. They choose to inform others about the dangers that are around them. They choose to encourage and motivate. They have an opportunity and they engage with it. They're also intentional. They're intentional about the places they go. What I've learned about the people that I have met is that they don't take an opportunity or they don't see an opportunity lightly. They choose to spend their money locally. They choose to do things because they know it ultimately makes a difference. Ultimately, I believe, when you and I are confronted with something that is bigger than us, a bigger story, a bigger picture, a, something that is beautiful, something that is inspiring, something that is troubling, we have two choices what we can do with it. We can choose to ignore it and to not engage. Or what we can do is choose to see what we can do and allow ourselves to take our, our opportunities, the things that make us uniquely us, the things that are our art, our beauty, our in initiative. Well, when Twitter first started out, they never thought it was going to be what it is today. But it is a platform in which people are, all over the world are communicating rapidly. We talked about this earlier tonight with, with the Freedom in Iran, the Green Movement. For us here in this room, the opportunity to engage changes our story. A guy by the name of Joshua Slocum sailed around the world in a wooden boat. Crazy. And what happened is he wrote a book about it, and it inspired others to do the same things. I believe we ultimately engage. We ultimately choose to put ourselves in those situations because we want to be inspired. We want to leave a better legacy. We want to show others that we do care about this place, that we're intentional about it. The question that I always have for myself is, is why would you engage? But what I'm learning as I meet some very extraordinary people is why not? Why not use our abilities to make this place better than what we found it? Thank you. God bless.